Hey, what's up, guys? Your average war gamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And in this video, I am going to be featuring tier 10 premium aircraft carrier that is available for coal, which is Malta. Now, Malta, I would say one of the best aircraft carriers that you can actually buy. It is pretty much cheap because coal is not that difficult resource to grind. And I think Malta is one of the best aircraft carrier, a British aircraft carrier that you can actually buy. Uh, simply because of these insanely good, you know, tanky planes. I mean, they have relatively decent HP uh, compared to a lot of other carriers in the game. There are a couple of exceptions. Like FDR does have a lot of HP, but that is definitely something else. This is that like FDR is completely unique, unlike anything in the game. But Malta, at least relatively to other carriers, having insane HP on these planes, and you also have really good you know firepower against destroyers with these rockets. And you can see right now what I'm doing to this poor Nistroshimi with these HE rockets, and you basically did almost 7,000 damage. Basically chunked one third of his HP with this drop and I mean you do have three attack flights so you can actually go and drop this poor Nustrashimi even with defensive AA fire up and running and you can do some a bit more damage and that guy basically lost half of his HP in just two strikes <laughs> that is that is insane like this basically shows how ridiculous aircraft carrier like Malta is currently in the game I mean, it does have only 3 seconds of pre-firing time, so aiming in these rockets is not going to be that tough. Like the delay that you have seen, it's only going to be 3 seconds, so it's not like really terrible to be honest. I mean, there are other carriers like Hakuryu for example having 4 seconds of delay. I mean, Midway does have 3.4 seconds of pre-firing delay, so it is definitely a lot much better. Now there is the Azuma who is trying to turn out, trying to run away for his life and I'm coming up with the torpedo bombers because this is another and probably the best thing for the Malta and that is these torpedo bombers. Now these torpedo bombers you can see they have a decent maneuverability during the attack run by the way without losing the aim and this poor Ma Azuma who is basically trying to dodge these torpedoes well it will have really hard time dodge these torpedoes and my division mate which is a Mecklenburg actually get a nasty salvo on him but surprisingly he actually speed juke that and he's still turning in which basically means they have to like he has to literally show broadside now i actually got two torpedo hits on this poor azuma and i think i will get a couple of more torpedo hits as well and i mean it's almost did, did like crazy good damage and this poor azuma who is trying to basically do anything like trying to play this game I didn't let him play like at all like uh, this is very unfortunate and this spotting uh, thing is actually a big problem in world of warships and hopefully they will try to uh, you know solve it by balancing it in a pretty you know mature way or in some way that hopefully we will get some you know good results in which we, they don't break the carriers even more than they are currently right now <laughs> But, but this is the ultimate truth and I do agree that carriers are really really strong class in the game no doubt about it but I just taken down the Azuma with the help of my division mate and now I'm coming up with these rocket planes again now these rocket planes having 28 millimeter penetration this poor buffalo doesn't have really good armor against tanking these Mar Malta you know rocket planes and this guy even though he's trying to basically getting some cover well it's not gonna help a lot and you can see like i did straight up did like 10k damage with these rockets all of them are penetration hits so it's pretty good even though i have eaten a ohio flag i still have enough tankiness that i can get at least a strike through with two of the planes and i still get like hit rocket hits and get a permanent fire that is how powerful Nuk sorry the <laughs> malta uh, itchy rockets are really in the game and I have basically showcased you the torpedo bombers now torpedo bombers you have seen It has a lot of damage in payload like 6,500 Like this is insane. I mean to you know give you a perspective uh, By the way United States is super carrier Have its tactical torpedo bomber squadron which does 6,100 damage Malta does 6,533 damage this is almost getting to the levels of super carriers and Malta have this a normal, like a literally a normal squadron, which is hilariously insane, right? 
and I'm gonna go and drop the Dispoor Devastation. Now, as you can see, I have so much damage with the Torpedo Bomber, 6,533. You have decent chance of landing all torpedo hits on a poor battleship. You have four torpedoes in payload in just a single strike. I pop the heal and then I basically try to get another strike because you have so much tankiness on the planes that you will eventually going to get that much, you know, at least two strikes for sure. And in this case, well, Devastation is trying to turn out, trying to run out, but well, he has to eat some damage. Did like almost 19,000 damage. And let me check how much I did damage again. Almost 19,000 again. And a permanent flood. Because he DCP'd the flood, flood before. And then I have another flood. So this poor devastation, who is a super battleship, ship, does have a super heal like Conqueror. But again, unfortunately, he's not in a case or in a state where he can actually able to do anything. And we're trying to defend this A flank because it seems to be like this devastation, John Bart, Ohio, Buffalo, they're all trying to push this camp and try to basically get to our nerves on the John Bart and Mecklenburg. But in this case, they are actually unable to do so since I'm just keep farming them, keep like keep pushing them back. And in this case, John Bart even a taken a torpedo from Shimakaze. And I would say props to Shimakaze who's playing pretty good and trying to stop these battleships into pushing and obviously they are not doing right thing right now. I mean, he's turning in and only going to eat two torpedoes of Shimakaze and he's literally going to throw his HP as well. And he's getting flooded, even though I'm trying to get a fire, but our Mecklenburg and me combined with Shimakaze will eventually will be able to kill this John Bard, which is pretty nice. Now, this John Bard and even the Devastation, both of these battleships have pushed together. Devastation turned out. He realizes his situation, his fate was so obvious and clear because of the Malta that comes in, create a crossfire, he's boom and dead. Like Kazuma, obviously, so they have no chance. But in this game, I will also try to showcase you that I also try to, you know, focus on the Balao because a submarine player can actually be pretty much hard countered right now against uh, carriers. Like, submarine really have no chance against uh, carriers uh, like in terms of like they cannot stop them to make uh, themselves unspotted like if they are basically in the periscope depth they will have a really hard time now I'm, I'm gonna talk about that later but let's talk about the buffalo first so this buffalo is actually gonna broadsiding and he's eating some torpedoes now he's tried to dodge some torpedoes and he actually successfully dodged quite some torpedoes but again I have a couple of torpedoes more ready to drop this guy and I was playing a bit passive to be honest since I thought that they will push from that area from the A flank and that's why I keep reversing and there's one thing that I think the biggest weakness of Malta really is that uh, well the Malta has really really bad armor a Citadel basically almost feels like a Minotaur on broadside I mean if you have time you know shooting on Minotaur broadsides and you get easily you know you can easily get them citadel i think malta, malta can also be very much easily citadel because of this vulnerable armor really bad armor scheme very thick armor and like not that thick armor it's not it's like very light armor to be honest on the broad side only 102 millimeter armor if i'm not wrong basically means that any battleship can literally even shoot on the bow of the malta because the bow of the malta obviously like any other carrier has not that much armor so you can overmatch it and then you can get straight up to their poor citadel and you can actually smash them but anyways that's something that you should keep in mind but right now we don't have this big of a threat they all started to run away from this flank and even i'm farming this ohio who is now running away and this ohio seems to be pretty much low and he's trying to do right thing to be in a kiting position and he actually dcp the fire but I won't be able to get the fire since Ohio has really long, you know, damage control running. Which I which I absolutely know. So, again, the most reliable and I think the most powerful attack the Malta can do is these torpedo bombers. Now, these torpedo bombers are insanely decent in terms of tanky, tankiness and also have these torpedo, like, in terms of damage. Like, I have already told you guys multiple times. The Malta damage is ridiculously high in terms of its torpedo bombers payload. And that certainly is the case. I mean, if I maybe go for the Ohio right now, 
I can actually kill him right now. 37,000 HP is basically not enough for Ohio. I also have heal up ready. Like, I also have the heal up. So, it's gonna be even worse. Now, this Balao. I want to help the Shimakaze, but Ohio secondary is actually gonna try to kill him. And I don't, I do remember that this Shimakaze might die. But I'm trying to support him here. And obviously, Submarine actually don't have any battery left. So, that's where Malta can be even more devastating because you can just hover on top of this poor Balao and he would not able to do anything. Now, in this case, I think he will eat a torpedo of that Balao and eventually will die, which is pretty much obvious. Otherwise, he would have been dead pretty much. But luckily, our Mecklenburg did shot the guns, my division mate, and he actually taken a massive damage. But again, he's low. I wanted to basically try to go and hover around. I mean, didn't focus too much on damage farming in this game, but still, uh, I want to make sure that I just, uh, you know, spot him on time. There's a Brindisi that also has sub submarine surveillance, but just spotting him once again, and you can see he does not have any battery whatsoever. That's where the Balao is really vulnerable. Now he's behind the island, and Brindisi can shoot him, but unfortunately, I really doubt that someone can do it, like anything right now. So for now. I will just leave this poor guy. Maybe the Brindisi might come and drop him. I just pretty much realized this situation. And I just left him. And I will go for this Ohio. Now Ohio actually have not a lot of HP left. He's doing good job no matter what. He's st still doing pretty good. But I do have heal. And once I pop the heal, I basically have sort of this immunity that I won't take some damage of AA uh, during that uh, drop. The first drop because I popped the heal and he has taken three torpedoes and now he has almost 14,000 15,000 HP left he's actually healing at the moment and I also have Andrew Cunningham which actually increases the speed by the way because I have gotten four torpedo plus another strength by putting a Andrew Cunningham on top of a carrier which is even more hilarious like you have now 201 knots of speed it used to be like it was 9 191 or 190 knots of speed with the bombs you straight up get a buff with the speed is insane i mean i can tell you one thing once you get the speed like five percent increase well that also kind of increases technically your hp because your planes get a lot tanky you basically get through the a quickly like with the fast speed and which basically means that you will receive less damage from AA. Now in this case, I wanted to drop this Ohio, but our Mecklenburg did pretty well and he, and he killed him eventually. And now I was thinking of maybe dropping in Hakuryu, like Hakuryu is behind the island. And the funny thing is that Hakuryu actually surrendered, or he basically just left this game. Something that is devastating for a enemy team to, you know, for, for thinking perspective, like if the Hakuryu is not trying to win this game right now, I mean, this basically means the game is over. Yeah, I do I do know that we have caps and all the other basic things that are basically helping us winning the game. But even then, how could you leaving the game like this? It is definitely not good. Now, why I would say it? Well, the reason is that he, like, he completely desperately just left the game. Deliberately, I would say. And the reason why is the AA is not running currently right now. Like, how could you AA is not running means that he just left the game that's it and that's not something that, that you should do really no matter what now in this case i wanted to put the plane on top of uh, that poor Balao, who's trying to get the cab but he knows that this is probably impossible with the carrier game like it is definitely not possible especially when the brindisi is really close and since i know that where the Balao might be is now as you can see he's basically trying to run away and now he's basically very close to the brindisi so it's not really going to be worth it he's definitely going to die almost did 200k damage which is nice with these torpedo bombers that i used on hakuryu i can actually send more attacks on this poor hakuryu and hopefully we'll be able to kill him on time so as you can see even without getting any citadel hits on like with ap bombs the torpedo bombers and rockets are so good in this game that have netted me 200k damage. These torpedo bombers are insanely powerful. There is no doubt about it. Now I will get the kill 
since our Mecklenburg, my division mate didn't manage to kill him on time. But that's okay. I mean, anyone will get the kill eventually. So now, it's 201k damage. I know that there's a new Strashimi at C cap. And there's also Balao. Balao will eventually die. I know that Balao has nothing to do now. But there's a new Strashimi who actually spots me at the moment. Now he popped defensive A. Cute little defensive A, sure. Now, it's okay. He's, he's running out. And I wanted to sh showcase you something with the rockets again. It's such a big hull of this new Strashimi, right? And look at the damage that I will do to this new Strashimi. Did you see that? That is 10k damage on a single strike. On a single strike. Yikes. I was I was shocked at that time. Like 14 rocket hits. And this Nutrishimi Nutri was like would would be like, whoa, 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 what the heck happened? Like seriously? <laughs> Malta is really, really versatile. I haven't even touched the light cruisers, by the way. Because Malta is really, really good against light cruisers like I'm just using torpedo bombers and rockets on targets that are pretty vulnerable I'm doing good damage I mean and when I use maybe the AP bombs on a cruisers light cruiser particularly you can actually get citadel damage and you can get a lot of citadel damage I mean you can do like 15k to 15k to 20k damage because of citadel hits you can do pretty pretty good like Malta is probably one of the most versatile aircraft carriers in the game that can basically take on any ship in the game even carriers even it is way more versatile by like with or sorry i would say compared to fdr simply because rockets are good against destroyers cruisers light cruisers and then we have torpedoes that are basically good against every single thing even i have dropped these torpedoes on destroyers and i have dev strike them <laughs> I am not joking. These torpedoes are really versatile as well. Then you also have these AP bombs and AP bombs are really good against not only battleships but heavy cruisers as well as light cruisers. They have nerfed the AP bombs like in terms of their payload but it is still really good. I mean against light cruisers even if you get like 3-4 citadels that's what like 15, 16, 17k, 20k damage in just one strike and you can do another strike and you know what is where it is going. It is going around 30-40k damage. On a light cruiser that will be so much devastating obviously for a light cruiser and to be in a light cruiser like that so thank you guys for watching i hope you like this gameplay uh, it's a short cameo uh, of this malta not that short game to be honest but still uh confederate got a couple of uh, achievements with the divisions and 28 torpedo hits and let me show you the detail report first before the team score as you can see here 28 torpedoes did 137k damage. Yeah, 28 torpedoes did that much damage. You can understand how powerful Malta torpedo bombers really are currently in the game. Now let me show you the team score. Pretty much easy, top in the team, 2.1k base XP almost. My Mecklenburg in this is basically in the second in team score. Brindisi did pretty okay. I mean, he killed uh, the Balao at the end and Balao, poor guy, he was actually a good player. But again, submarines are definitely very vulnerable against aircraft carriers. As of now, unless they do some change with spawning, we will eventually find out. And then we have detail report. Basically versatile against every ship class. Poor Mr. Shimi, man. 30 rockets did 20,000 damage. Uh, that is a sight to watch. It's insane. And decent credits as well. Like... I in earning point of view you basically earn a lot of credits 698k credits which is nice and it is overall a good game pretty much easy damage 201k damage 211 sorry k damage uh within no time so i hope you like the video and if you do like the video please like subscribe and maybe, maybe even share this video so that other carrier players might get some value from this malta gameplay and i hope you liked it and enjoyed it thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys later peace out